Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini. We'll get a sense of awareness, of guidance, and possible outcomes with this reading. I'll also pull a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first two cards I choose are for awareness. So, Gemini, nice. We have the world card, Major Arcana. The world card is a card of reaching your goals, uh, coming to the closure of a cycle or a phase or a journey within your life and feeling pretty good about it and you're celebrating and you are being recognized for your efforts. This is when you feel like you've done a job well done and you feel content and you feel fulfilled. And so it's time to enjoy it. You've probably had to put in a lot of hard work and energy and time and dealt with a host of issues, but you've made it. So, you know, this could be a small goal. This could be a small weekly thing that you were trying to accomplish, maybe exercising or, you know, uh, spending a little extra time at the office and that you were able to succeed. So take pleasure in that and um, give yourself credit. The credit goes to you for using your abilities and your talents to make it happen. And you can see she's kind of skip dancing within the green victory wreath. When this card, when we see this card, this is about fulfillment of a cycle, of a phase. What's next for you? What's the next thing that you're going to do? And again, we get a, another sense of success and happiness and prosperity with the sun, major arcana. Some potential here for greatness, really, to accomplish something, to be recognized for your talents, for your abilities, for your greatness. The sun provides us the life force. It provides us energy and inspiration. We feel that we have everything we need, the warmth, to be able to get out there and to make things happen. This red banner here, is indicative of, of following your passions, of uh, following the things that really make your heart stir and feel good about it. There's a playfulness associated with the sun because you can see the young child who is having a grand old time on the horse. It's the simple things. And so take delight in the simple things, fresh air, being in nature, having the sun shine down. And having that light come to you. And that's a matter of taking it in. And when you take that light in, it is enlightening. And let your light shine to others, but two cards of recognition and of success, joy and happiness, joy and happiness. So let's get, um, let's choose two cards for guidance. Okay, in terms of guidance, you're going to be thinking about a situation where you feel that you have to walk away from and walking away from what you have. And, you know, those are big decisions. And so sometimes we're, we're not satisfied. Sometimes we're not finding fulfillment and we feel that we need either time alone to consider what's going on, to think about what's going on. This could be indicative of travel, going away from the weekend. Maybe you just need a break from a situation. But you can see that he's leaving by moonlight, going into the mountains and leaving behind eight cups. So when you're leaving behind something as significant as eight cups, then it just goes to show that there's something that you know, you're not feeling what you should be feeling. You're not feeling the happiness. You're not feeling the contentedness. 
And so this is an effort to find it. Doesn't mean that you leave forever. Maybe this leaves the door open for coming back after you could do some soul searching and thinking about life. But cups, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So then we have the two of pentacles and we see the juggler here. And he is uh, high stepping it and trying not to drop those pentacles. And uh, I love the, the ships on the rough seas in the background. So you know, we have a lot on our plates and it takes skill and it takes prioritizing to try to keep everything afloat, to keep everything in balance. So this two card, it's about finding the balance, trying to maintain the balance. You might be feeling scattered energies. You may be trying to do so much that it's really hard and it's exhausting. It's tiring to try to find the balance because we live busy lives. But this could be really the balance between work and relationships or work and play. Could be finding, uh, trying to find a balance in your, the money coming in, the money going out with regard to finances. This is a pentacle card often goes to our resources. And so trying to make it all work for you. This is a week where you're going to be thinking about how to how to keep things in motion without dropping any of the balls or the pentacles here. Not always an easy task. You know, not always an easy task. So now let's choose uh, two cards for possible outcomes. So I like what we see here. We have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands brings a sense of uh, personal power, of command, of really be being in a confident place. And you can see she's sitting on the throne. She looks like she's holding onto a sunflower, more abundance. She's capable, charismatic, fun to be with, wants to do things. She is all about can do. So bring this energy to yourself this week in terms of maybe applying it to your new plans, the new things that you want to achieve, um, you know, of uh, multitasking. She's very capable when it comes to doing several things. Again, she's skilled, she's charismatic, she's successful. This tells me that you're going to be successful. You're going to be thinking about how to make it all happen. Often with wands, this wands energy, we get a sense of networking, of social activities, meeting people, getting out there, doing things, get out there and do it. And, you know, this queen is looking right in the direction of the two of, two of um, th sorry, the three of wands. And this three of wands Man is standing, looking out over the horizon. He's leaning on this wand for support. This is a card of looking at the big picture. What's next? And again, it ties in nicely. We're, we're looking forward with the world. What comes, what's going to come after you completing this cycle? What is next for you? What are you thinking about? What are you planning to do? What are you considering? New job, new relationships, new um, education perhaps. Could be as literal as travel. You know, this could relate to travel. This card could also be at a very literal uh, level of travel. But when we see this, this is uh, the spirits exploring. What is it and what are you thinking about doing next? Where, do you, where are you headed it's enterprise, it's leadership, it's looking at a big vision. 
Let's get some more information from the Oracle cards. And this is a practice area or a focus area for the week. The heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So leaving your heart open, allowing love to come in and love to go out. Let's see if I can get this in focus. So, you know, I, I, when I see the sun, I, I think that it's ripe for relationships and the possibilities of relationships. Um, you know, uh, lots of love in terms of, of um, again, of achieving, of being confident. Because when you are feeling self-love, when you feel love for others, it does bring forth some natural confidence and some, uh, I think, personal power. So now I'm going to choose a card for... Uh, emotional self or spirit. Let's do it like this. Light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. Vibrant like the sun. Powerful being, queen of wands, powerful presence. The world is a powerful presence as well. So beautiful, beautiful thought for emotional, spiritual self. And finally, let's get some more information on love. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. So show love. You know, let people feel what you have to offer. And, you know, finding out what's important to the people you love, that's a matter of listening. It's a matter of um, sharing, communicating, um, looking deeper below the surface perhaps, intuiting and you know be the loving creature that you are simply a loving card so Gemini this is what I have for you for the week and uh, I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading and I wish you an awesome week if you did find something helpful then subscribe if you haven't already like share or comment and Check out some of my other readings and have an awesome week. I'll, I'll see you next week. Bye.